<laughs> yeah, he was not going to wake up. <laughs> when he was in the birth canal, it's just hard to kind of explain mixed emotions from happy he coming to my paternal instincts telling me something wasn't right. He had to have EEGs hooked up to him. He had brain scans, cat scans. Just seeing him hooked up to all those tubes and the incubator, just, it was a trying time. He's been fighting since he came out. When children like Peyton come to us, we spend a lot of time working with the parent to get them to trust that not only will we take care of their child, we will love their child. Peyton is a little guy who came to us when he was about 10 months old. He is feisty. He is spidery. Yeah. He's extremely social. People come into the room to see him. You know, he's like a little celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Peyton wanting to have fun, to learn, to dance. All of that is what any child wants. It just means it takes him a little bit longer and we have to retrain some of his muscles and some of his brain to work in a different way. We count them. One, two. Initially, he really wasn't rolling or sitting, so any kind of mobility Ready? was challenging for him. You know, it was a, a slow process, you know, step by step, sort of showing him how to move his body. We don't assume that we know what every child is capable of accomplishing. And our expectations are that they can do everything. We are continually surprised. Good job. When he started walking, I was like, oh my God, I was so excited. Peyton's going to eventually move out of our special care nursery because he is very mobile now. He likes to wrestle, which we're trying to discourage him from doing. <laughs> I don't know what we would do if it wasn't like for Penfield. Just to watch him surpass all the milestones that, you know, doctors didn't think he would, it's, it's amazing. <laughs>